Hi friends, welcome to Easy and Home Style Cooking. I'm Mrs. Ragini. Today I'm going to share a non-vegetarian dish and this is nothing but a fish. With fish we are going to make an excellent pulsu, puli, anything you can call. So let's start how to make this dish dear friends. Take a pan. We are going to dry roast some coriander seeds and also some fenugreek seeds. Very little. Not too much. If you are going to add too much, then it will be bitter. So once these are slightly roasted, we are going to put it in ding chicks and crush it a little bit and add it to our dish. So friends, these coriander seeds and fenugreek seeds are dry roasted. We are going to put this in a ding chick or you can just rest this for some time. If you want, you can put it in a blender and blend this also. So I'm going to add this into our ding chick. And now in the same pan, we are going to make our curry. So here is the oil we are going to use the coconut oil so once your oil is hot we are going to add the tempering ingredients here is some cumin seeds some mustard seeds and fresh ginger and garlic roughly chopped or finely chopped you can add you know instead of using ginger garlic paste dear friends i suggest use the fresh ginger and garlic add it mm, nice aroma of you know the coconut oil add red chilies also curry leaves you need to add it in the oil green chilies this is a spiciness dear friends for the dish so add lot of green chilies as per you know how much spicy you want based on that you can add the green chilies add onions you can add roughly chopped or even finely chopped onions add it and add salt and we are going to cook the onions till it is slightly transparent and then we are going to add the crushed coriander and the fenugreek powder so friends, you can see the onions are slightly colored. We don't want this to be too brown, slightly color. And now we're going to add very little of turmeric. And here is the crushed fenugreek seeds and coriander powder. Add it. For always fish pulusu, you need to add methi powder. So add very little. Now there goes the tamarind juice. Now increase the flame. Let this simmer for 2 to 3 minutes and then we are going to add the coconut milk and the fish pieces. So here I have the fish pieces. Usually in our house we use the head, tail and you know some the end parts of the fish. So here this I'm going to use it. This tastes much better than the you know our regular fish pieces. So I suggest try to use the head, tail and the middle parts of the fish. So friends the tamarind juice is getting boiled and now we are going to add the fish pieces fish won't take much time to cook so 8 to 10 minutes this will get you know ready so add the pieces once this is 60 percent cooked then we are going to add the coconut milk and cover with a lid and cook for another five minutes so friends after five minutes of slow cooking our fish is getting ready fish pulsu or fish fry won't take much time very fast it will cook and you can see this is becoming soft color has been changed and now we are going to add the coconut milk you can add one big cup of coconut milk very little water add it now reduce the flame and let it cook for another five minutes dear friends your fish pulisu will get ready in just 10 to 15 minutes not more than that and if you're going to cook more than that then your fish will break into pieces so we don't want that now we are going to check the taste and then cook for another five minutes this will be slightly sour and the coconut oil flavor. Wow, dear friends, slightly spicy. When the fish is slightly spicy, then only you'll get the taste. Mm. Sourness is also perfect. Salt is also perfect. Spices also is perfect. Slight, you know, the methi flavor. Mm. It should be like that. And now we're going to cover this and cook for another five minutes and our dish will be ready to serve before serving just garnish with some coriander and have it with rice it will taste yummy so friends after five minutes of cooking the fish in slow flame you can see the pulusu puli is getting you know thickened if you want more of gravy then you can add more of coconut milk and some more of water and adjust the consistency add the coriander on top this is perfect for me I can just switch off the flame. We are going to serve along with the rice. Just take a spoon. You can see it should be like this. If you are overcooking it, then it will break. Excellent color, slight yellow color, ready to serve. 
along with the rice. I'm going to just check the taste. The fish, mm. smoking hot. Mm. The moment when I had the fish, I got the ginger flavor, dear friends. Mm. Slightly spicy. The gravy is perfect. Nice coconut aroma. Mm. This is superb, tasty. You need to have when this is hot, dear friends. I liked it. I love this. Dear friends, I hope you enjoyed this. Mm. Very simple coconut flavor, Kerala style fish curry. If you like it, make it, share it and also feed your family fresh, fresh food, such type of food. See you in another session with some more recipes.